sabemos que no hemos pecado nuestro altísimo sacerdote misterio de la grande. Who indeed is the victor over the world 
but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth, the Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord, Lord. On the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. He had said this, he showed him his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand to put in, into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through his belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, the Easter season starts today properly. What we had last week was the octave of Easter. It was a week-long celebration of the resurrection of the Lord. It was like we had Christ, while well, he disappeared from the grave, he was gone. And now, boom, there he is. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a perfect gift for, for any party, you know? There's the people and they don't see him. Poof, there you are, and disappear. And <laughs> that will be something special. But anyway, the good Lord came and does something which is different. He comes and appears to them. He says, Shalom. Shalom is a, uh, not just a Hawaii kind of thing, but a, I wish you peace, but a, an all over kind of peace, well being of heart, mind, body, soul, that you're just being comfortable and happy with it. So, Shalom, he says, and the disciples were, <clears throat> why would they do this? For three years they had been with him and he had been given them powers, you know, you go into towns and raise the dead and heal the sick and do this and that. So they were always with him. They rejoiced because they had some good things going with him. And then comes the night where they all swore, I will never leave you. They all left but one, the beloved disciple. So naturally, when he comes back to life, there he comes and says, Shalom, says, uh oh, what is he going to do to us? We deserted him. We know we better. Well, anyway, he says peace. He's not. He's not holding a grudge. He says peace and means it. And then he does something which you do every day. You go over to your spouse and say, <laughs> breathe on them. Uh, he might not, or she might not like what you do, especially in the morning. So <laughs> he does that, but he does it for a purpose because it should remind us at the very beginning when God took the dirt from the ground. And he took it and formed it into something and breathed life into it, and he became a living being. So now what Christ will do, he sees the fall in human nature, those who have deserted and uh, betrayed the Lord. And he comes to them, peace be with you. He breathes on them and says, receive the Holy Spirit. Those whose sins you forgive are forgiven, those you retain are retained. The first action of Christ 
after he comes back to life, he gives them the power to forgive sins. Now, isn't that special? So, so confession is quite often misunderstood by many people. And so, especially by, by non-Catholics, they don't really know what it is, and they don't want to do anything of that sort. So, there were four Protestant pastors. They met once a month and did all kinds of things together. But not one time they came together, and it says, you know what, these Catholics over there, they have this confession thing going on. I wonder if it works, you know? The people seem to be happy afterwards. So why don't we try it out over here among us, shall we? He says, uh, oh sure, let's try it. Well, the first one says, I confess, once in a while I take a little hooch, you know? Uh, it helps my ministry. <laughs> the other one says, well, I, I play, I gamble sometimes, and I, I shouldn't do it, but I do play cards in a casino sometimes. And the other one says, you know, sometimes I get out of town, I gotta go and watch some movies, you know, I, I shouldn't do it either. And then everyone looks at the fourth one, and he doesn't say it. Okay, come on, we already told our sins, so what about yours? Hmm. Please, come on, that's that's not fair. Tell us, what is your, your weakness, what is your sin? I, the thing is, I can't keep any secrets. <laughs> I can't wait to go out and tell the people what you told me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that's not like the Catholic confession. That's the confession. The seal of confession is something very special. If a priest knowingly uh, divulges the sin from the confessional, he cannot be absolved except for the Pope himself. He's basically excommunicated. So this is that this is how serious it is. And quite a few priests gave their lives because uh, somebody wanted to know what their spouse did, especially kings and whatnot, and they want to find out their wife goes to confession to him, let me know what she's telling you. He wouldn't, so they killed him quite often. So the seal of confession is something very special, and but the thing is we have lost the sins of sin. Saint John Paul the Great mentioned it when he was a pope still. So we have lost the sins of sin. So if there is no sin there, which we don't know is anything as sinful, how can we confess a sin if there is no sin? Because now everything is like relative. It's good for you, fine, but it's not the same thing for me, but do whatever you want to do. That's not how the kingdom of God works. We ought to be all on the same page, all believing and knowing and doing the same things because we are all gods and we follow the laws of God. So, if we don't know our sins, Ask your mother, oh, your spouse, they tell you what's wrong with you. <laughs> and you got a big list, not just a little part. <laughs> well, many will come to a parish like it was in Fort Athens to be the school attached to it, 150 kids. And so the lower grades all will go to confession once a month. That's just a given, and sometimes more often. But the little ones, they have a very bad retention span. So the teachers make them write it down on the on a sheet, on a list. And so they come into the confession and says, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last confession was a month ago, and these are the sins, blah, 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 blah. So it's like, you know, when you listen to the sins of the kids, it's like being bombarded with cotton balls. <laughs> but when you come to adults, then they have got cannonballs. <laughs> so, but anyway, there you are. The little kid comes in and says, um, Please bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last confession was a month ago, and these are my sins. I have disobeyed my parents, I lied to my mother, I have fought with my brothers, and then he stopped. He says, okay, and? And he thought for a moment, you know what, this is not my list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Sometimes it happens in the fashion that the companion comes in and tells me all the sins of their spouses and whatnot, but not their own. So it's not, that's not how it works. Confession is a gift. Confession is like the apostles, they knew they betrayed the Lord. They knew they deserted him. They knew they did wrong. But yet, this is what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit brings to your consciousness that you're sinful, and then you go to confess the sins which the Holy Spirit brings to your mind. That's how it works. And then little by little, we start to work up our whole life, and eventually all our life is being cleared up there's nothing that accuses us when we go come into the kingdom of God. So it's good to come before God knowing that we need His mercy. Without His mercy, we couldn't do it. Because His mercy is always there. That's what we celebrate today. Mercy Sunday, once a year. 
Sister Faustina gave us this devotion through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And the mercy of God is something special. Human beings do not have mercy as God does. But if the mercy God offers us is not being accepted, then there's nothing left for God but being just. But if mercy is applied, then his justice will be mitigated. This is how it's working. And so we, we ask God to be with us, especially the chapel of divine mercy is very powerful, especially when people are dying. You recite the chapel of mercy. It is uh, it, it does something to that, uh, to the heart of the person. And that's wonderful. Because the sin which you commit is not just my little sin. It is a sin that affects everybody around us. Like this one man, he worked in a ship building uh, in, a graveyard, in a yard, and uh, after a few years of being there, he decided he wanted to build his own little ship at home. And so he did. Get it all set up, and but he needed some materials, and especially nails. And you can't have just any old nails because they rust away. So he got some copper nails. And where did he find them? Well, his employer, he had tons of them. Besides, the employer didn't give him enough money as it is. So it was just just and right for him to take them. But once in a while, it just pricked him. It didn't, didn't settle well. And one day he came to church, and the priest was talking about restitution. You stole something, you restore it. The same thing. Or make up if it's, if it's destroyed, and you make up in monetary way, whatever you can. But you have to make up for it. So after Mass, it comes over to the priest and says, Father, you really mean what you're saying in there? Restitution? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, I'm in a conundrum. He says, I've been taking nails for years now. I can't just go over to him. And, and besides, he's an infidel. He's worse. He's not even baptized. I tried to talk to him about God and Jesus and all these things, but he wouldn't listen. He's just an infidel. So, and besides, he doesn't pay me enough as it is. He says, no, the priest says, got a restitution, got to give it back. So he prepped him for the next, next two weeks, and finally he came back on the third, and he says, Father, Father, I did it. I went over to him, and I told him what I did. Mass for pardon, and says, I want to make a restitution, all these things. And so, and what happened, the priest said? Well, he says, after I told him, he says, you know, Obviously, you knew were a hypocrite because you always talking about Jesus and whatnot, but then you used to doing all these things. I knew it all the way along. But now that you're confessing, maybe there's some truth about that faith which you have. <clears throat> See, it affects people around us. If you have a grumpy person someplace and you stick them among people, pretty soon the rest will be grumpy too. But if you've got a happy one, put them into a group of people who are like down and up, it cheers them up. So we are affecting people in a natural way. Just to imagine how we affect them in a supernatural way. Where God is either with you or God is not with you. If you have a cloud over your, over your thing and with lightning and thunder and lightning and rain coming down, spiritually speaking, because you're in a state of sin, that affects the people around you. It brings down the shield of defense. But if you're filled with the power and grace of God and living in His grace, you also bring protection and salvation to people to wherever you go. So when we do fall, and because we do fall, we need confession. And this is the first thing Christ gave us. It says, go and forgive the sins for those who are sorry. There is also this one little thing when we say the act of contrition. And I want to not to sin anymore. I will not come into the near occasion of sin. I will not reject some sinful things. Like when I was young, back in, in Austria, we heard about Soho in London, for example, and uh, finally we got the opportunity with the band, the brass band, to fly over to London, and um, but everybody says, stay away from Soho, you know? So we learn, we learn to do and avoid things, but we have to listen. And if we listen to the voice of God, He brings us to where He knows that we are safe. The safety is the church that has to be given all the teachings, that we can arrange our lives according to the teachings of Christ. And so we become a good person doing our share in this world while we are alive. And it is because of the mercy of God. Without the mercy of God, I wouldn't be here. And I was stricken in this, uh, was in this world, lived a life of debauchery, spent all my stuff, and lived it up to the hilt, lived in the flesh. I was finally, finally was so tired of sinning. 
I was looking for some peace, which I never had all these years. And finally, eventually, came to confession. And then I was looking for the mercy of God. And this lady, she, uh, Agnes, I told you about her before, she had this mercy of God picture and says, Peter, this is for you. And so I found Jesus, I found his mercy. And after a couple of years of penance, I finally was able to see my path and my mission which I had in life. And so everything was straightening out little by little. The thing is, see, I have known my past and how easy it is to fall into sins. But I also know the power of God for those who really long for it. Those, the mercy of God is most, most powerful. But we have to uh, uh, avail ourselves for it, especially people who are dying. There's nothing more powerful for a lay person than to recite the chaplet of divine mercy for them. It's a very powerful thing. And miracles have happened over and over again. So, but we only have this life just to apply the mercy when it says, I can apply for the mercy when it comes to the door of heaven. That's too late. We have to learn to take this mercy of God and live it in this world. And so we become a missionary of mercy. Let us please stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, made of earth and on earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God and God, light and light, true God, true God, be God and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through all things made, for our sin and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was in the heart of the birth of Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and dead, and his kingdom will never end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the cross. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. God's grace is the vehicle to holiness. We are in much need of grace, so we dare to ask. We pray for the mystical body of Christ, the Church, to rely on God's grace in all its endeavors. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the gift of many good and holy seminarians and priests to lead the people of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our we pray that the eyes of all believers will be open and they will see our Lord in the Eucharist. And when receiving the forgiveness of their sins, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we We pray for mercy for all of us, especially for those of our family who have left the faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we We pray for protection from all evil, whether physical or spiritual. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our own needs. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we are wandered far from thee. We recognize your great mercy to us, even though we have named your Son to the tree of life. Remember your mercy now and always. Amen. Please be seated.
Benedictus est Domine Deus Universi, qui a te, de tua largitate, accipimus panem, quintilio fervus fructum terre et operis manum hominum, ex conobis tia panes vitae. Benedictus es Domine Deus Universi, clia de tua largitate, accipimus vinum, Quotidio fermus fructum vitis et opris manum omnum ex quo nobis fiat potus spiritualis. Orate fratres od meum a questum sacrifici mercitabile fiat apod Deum Patrum Omnipotentem. Accept the Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those who have brought to your birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dominus Mobisco. Sursum corda. Amen. Grazie sarcimus Dominus Dio nostro. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to God, and more glorious, even Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Mysterium Fidei. Resurrectionis Barbierum Tom Juncae et Tua Miseratione Defunctorum 
et Deus in nomen multus tui admite. Omnium nostrum quesimus, miserere ut conviate de gen, Vinci, Virgin Maria, sed et beati Iosef Ius de Virgin Sponsi, beatis apostolis et omnibus sanctis, qui tibi a secula placuera de eterna vite, meriam maestri consortis, et te gladimus di glorificemus per filium tuum Iesum Christum. Per ipso medit ipso et in ipso, es dicitio patria omnis potenti, in unitate spiritus sancti, omnis bona et gloria per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Recipitis salutarvis uniti, et vini istituzione formati, et ad demes digere. Patria nostra, qui es in cielo, santo cielo, non tu, ad vini regnum tu, fia voluntas tua, Sicur in cielo ed in terra, anem nostro quotidiano da nobis cuore, et dimiti in nobis debita nostra, sicur in nos dimitibus debitoribus nostris, et dimos in ducas in tentazione, se liberamos a mano, liberamos quesimus domine, a omnibus malis, da propizius pacem in divus nostris, Ut hope misericordia tue adiuti, et a peccato sinus semper liberi, et omni perturbazione securi, expectantes beatam spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri Iesu Christi. Domini Iesu Christi, quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem verrecu bovis, pacem meum du bovis. Ne respicias peccata nostra, sed fidem de ecclesia tue, e anque secunda voluntate tuum pacificare e coronare de mieris, que vives in reis in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domenis et Semper Obisco. Amen. 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 Amen.
Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have, uh, we are invited to stay with us after since today is Mercy Sunday. We so say this uh, chapel of Divine Mercy right after Mass if you like to stay with that. And uh, we also have between one and four, we have adoration and uh, confession available just the same. And uh, if uh, you want to pick up a book or literature about the Divine Mercy on both ends, please do so. It's all free of charge. Dominus Vobiscum, and the Spirit of the Lord, and the Apostle of the Potent Stavos, Father, Felix, and Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. And the Enemies Est. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, the Defense of the Battle, be our protection against the wickedness and sinners of the devil. May God be with you in the name of the Lord, and the power and the judgment of the Lord, by the power of God, trust in the hell of Satan, and all evil spirits. Who the world, seeking souls. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Holy angels and saints. Pray for us. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful depart through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Name of God. souls in the ocean of mercy open up for the whole world. O fount of life and fat of thy mercy, fill up the whole world and empty itself out upon us. O blood of God, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, is a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your God is your daily bread, and your God is our as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but for the Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with you, blessed among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Believe in God, the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, the Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. Eternal Father, we offer the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and the hopes of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I'll free the body and blood, soul, and divinity to the living love of Son, Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. And on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, help with your body and blood, soul, and divinity, for the beloved 
Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, help with the body and blood, soul, and divinity for the living, loving Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Turn the Father out for the body and blood, soul, divinity, for the living, beloved Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and the souls of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God. Holy Mighty One, Holy Lord, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Lord, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Lord, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is in us and a treasury of compassion and inexhaustible look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.